Hello, today we learn about Viper design pattern in Swift for iOS application development. So in the screen, you can see the Viper model, how it works or how it will work for your application. So if we say about design patterns, what are design patterns for software developers? If I say it's a God gift to software developers, these are the techniques that minimize code duplication prevent high coupling and standardize a common way of writing code that provide a general solution for reoccurring solutions. In the screen, if you see Viper model. So what is V? V for view, I for interactor, P for presenter, E for entity and R for router. So what is Viper? Viper is a design pattern that implement separation of concern. Mostly in MVP, what is the MVP or MVC? It's model view controller. It follows a modular approach. So for one feature, there is one module in Viper. For one module, there are five modules. So if you see, for one thing, we have a view, we have a presenter, we have interactor, we have router, and we have an entity. So what is view? View is a class that has all the code to show the app interface to the user and get their response. Upon the response, we alert the presenter. Backbone of the Viper we say is presenter. So what is view? The example of our YouTube app content visible to the user it called as a view. And if we click on anything right in the trending, so it is the user interaction to that application so it just tell the presenter that user has click on the trending button so what is presenter here presenter i say it is a code of a module it gets user response from the view and work accordingly one class to communicate with all other comp components calls the router for wireframing what will router do if we go to the subscription button so our view changes from trending to subscription so what is the router router tells that we have now to load the subscription from the view controller so router is the path if we say we click on the all button it tells that we have to load the channel list from the storyboard to push the channel list from subscription right so this is router we come to the interactor what is basically interactor Interactor have business logics, right? What is business logics now? Interactor, our application is without life if there are no APIs in that. Interactor do, it make a API calls to fetch data from source. What is entity? Entity is basically, we can say the models of the class. What is model of the class? So basically, the data which is shown to our application is called that model. So if we take the example of our home, we have a picture above and there is a profile pic and there is a title and there is some details. In this, what is the entity? So in this, the entity is first of all the image view, then the profile image, then the title image, and then the details of that. So if we see the view, view owns and sends user accent to the presenter. And presenter, what will presenter do? It updates when something happened to the view. And so, how this update call? The Viper is basically depend on the protocols. So, first of all, one protocol is from view to presenter. When the view tell the presenter that the user wants something, and the presenter then owns the interactor by the protocol. So, the interactor now get the data from API. As the success results come, it notifies the presenter. And when the presenter gets the data, it updates the view that I have a data and just update your contents. This is Viper. The Viper is basically have five modules, view, presenter, router, interactor, entity. So if I say about our application, we have home. So in home, there are five modules. One is view then interactor, then presenter, then entity, and then there is a router. So the question arises that when we have to use the Viper. So Viper follows a very clean architecture, right? It isolate each module from others. So changing or fixing bugs are very easy. You can update a specific module for that. Also, for having modular approach, Viper creates a very good environment for unit testing also, because the unit testing, we have all the logics of the API in the interactor, 
and the view in the view and the route and the path between the views are in the router and the, in the module so it is basically very good for the testing also as each module is independent from others right so wiper should be used when application requirement are very well formed and mostly fixed it should not be used in small projects because as mvp and mvc are sufficient for there if you see the picture of the wiper there is a view right in the view the user have the screen right in if we take the example of home for the view we have some sort of videos in that so when the user click on any cell it notify the presenter that user wants the details of that video of that cell item so what will presenter do now presenter have to fetch the data from api so it go to interactor say hey i want the details of the video of cell number 1 with some parameters so what will interactor do interactor call the server hey server i want the details of this video response will come from the server this is the data so the entity we have the entity the details of the entity so if we want the the image of that video the title of that video the description of that video so what we do we just use the json decoder to decode that data in the form of our model so as the work have done we have the model now so interactor tell presenter hey i got the model that you want for the uh, want for the view the presenter have the model now the presenter will update the data to the view the user just click on the cell it get the data and the presenter will show to the view so this is called as a wiper in our next video what we do we use this architecture in our youtube app how we done this all the things please like the video and subscribe thank you